This is the same problem that we did yesterday as an example in the video. One minus eight, when there's more on the floor, you go next door. We talked through this yesterday and we came up with the answer of 203. I wanted to show you a way that you can check your work. And it's important when you're doing numbers and operations, you can make sure you are 100% correct before you ever turn it into me. So one thing you might wanna do is just take your highlighter and make a new box. Um, that highlighter is not very bright, so let me see if I can use, there we go. It's a little bit better. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take these two bottom numbers and I'm gonna go ahead and add them up. So once I've kind of made that problem for myself, what's eight plus three? Eight, nine, 10, 11. Put down the one, carry the one. Six plus one is seven. One plus two is three. There's my trick, boys and girls. When I do addition to check my subtraction answer, if those two numbers match, I know I'm correct. There's another way that you could check your work or to be close to see if it makes sense. When you have that 371, we could round that to 400. 168, we could round that to 200. And then we could go ahead and we could subtract that. And we're like, huh, is 203 about 200? Yeah, it is. That answer does make sense. It would be reasonable for me to think that I'm correct. So you can either use addition to check or you could use rounding to check. But you should always check your work because then you will be 100% sure that you got everything correct before you ever give it to an adult.